previously on Australian Survivor. Go! The top five were on a mission. It's Liz in the lead, Matt right behind. To get their hands on immunity. Liz wins individual immunity. Now that that necklace is around my neck, this is the time to get rid of Matt. Liz was sure she had Nina and George on board to take out challenge beast Matt. You have to manage Jerry in that equation. You're giving Jerry way too much time and effort. He's making you soft. I'm thinking clearly, and I'm striking. But George was at a crossroads. Social George is telling me, vote for Nina and keep Jerry happy. But strategic George is saying, just vote off Matt. That'll set up the win. Until Nina showed she was a force to be reckoned with. I've had opportunities that I was able to seize myself. I think people got this golden ticket and they're just not letting it go. But being instrumental is what I, as a jury member, I'm gonna wanna hear. Not just I was told a name and I wrote it down. I shouldn't have said that probably. And Nina's fate was sealed. Nina. Four left. Who will be going home tonight? George, you kept Matt, and now I'm screwed. I'm pretty pissed with George right now. I fully was committed to the Jacuzzi Alliance, and he voted out Nina, who was going to get me and George to the final two. just dogged me again. I'm saving. I don't believe you. I, I, such, I, such. That was a word, kid. I'm not concerned at all that Liz might be a little bit salty after that tribal council. This is the best decision for me. Technically saved you tonight, Matt. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, the first top three bill I made. This is the one that I'm sticking in. I had to make a decision between which top three I was going to progress with, and I decided to stick with Jerry and Matt. I've got options in this game. I have more influence on Jerry and Matt than Liz does. If Liz feels isolated, that's great. She can either vote with me tomorrow or get voted out. what got into George's head. He did me dirty with Shawnee, and now, again, with Nina. Seventh member of our jury, Nina. Oh, 
Andrew. It's okay. Just don't sit next to him. He's forgotten our relationship. He's forgotten our alliance. I am furious. But I'm putting that aside because I need George in my hand. I'm just staying focused and thinking about myself and my game. If you told me 45 days ago you'd be in the top four, I'd be like, oh, yeah, right, that's what my reaction would have been. The honest truth is if she basically said minimal at that tribal council, I wouldn't have changed my mind. But she said a lot. She said way too much. And I'm like, So you're oh. telling me you were Exactly. So I was voting mad. Well, tough now. Mm. It's gonna get over there. She will be super bitter though, I'm not sure. Yes, she will. I did hear what she said too, which is fine. She's not the first person to get that reaction after I voted someone out. Oh, it was a heat of the moment. God, I'd probably say something like that as well. Nina was a very confrontational style player. She turned on Jerry when she didn't need to. And that was the deciding moment for me. I've got to send Nina home. I know I can fix and upset Liz, but I've just earned back Jerry's trust. And if Jerry's trust was broken in me again, I would have lost Jerry for the final three days in this game. The, the plan doesn't change, Liz. You're just as likely as winning immunity as Matt is. That's what I'm hoping for. And if Matt does win immunity, we bind together on Jerry. That's what happens. The fact that I've kept Jerry and Matt on my side is fantastic and I'm the only ally Liz has left. I've got deals within deals, which means I'm gonna get to the top three. Look, we've done great, up to date, we've kept off that bloody jury. Yes, I Incredible. Nina is very upset with me but Nina said at the last Tribal Council she'll be voting for the most strategic player. Hello, that's me. And if I get to that final Tribal Council, I will win because this is a good jury dominated by past players. People like Haley and Shawnee, Sean. They respect gameplay, they respect strategy, and they will vote for me. Well, we need to win that challenge today, don't we? Yes, we do, Jerry. Because then it's mission complete, Jerry. And it is mission complete. After being shunted to the villain's tribe, fueled by a great hunger of revenge, I went on a mission to take out the controlling forces of the OG hero tribe, one by one. Nina's gone. My payback is complete. That's great. Now we can concentrate on the end game. Last four. We're here. We're here, we yeah, made it. Final four. Now somehow we've got to get to final two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty keen. I reckon we've got a really good chance. I think if, if one of us wins immunity today, George, yourself, or me. We haven't broken any yep. promises. Integrity's intact. We go the final three. I'm a man with loyal values. George and I have been solid since we aligned, back when I went over to the village tribe all that time ago. Unless he goes against me, he has my loyalty. Down to the last boat. Yep, yeah, rock. I'm solid as a rock. And then we have young Maddie. I have the utmost respect for young Matt. Our relationship has blossomed throughout the game. We dearly want to go to the final two. I'm proving you can get to the end with trust and loyalty. This is how I live my life in the real world. This is how I play the game.
Today's a make or break day for me, so I'm on edge. If I don't win individual immunity today, I'm gone. The bond that Matt, Jerry and George have is ridiculous. Like, it's bordering weird. They are like family. I don't know how I could possibly break them up. And the fact that George flipped on me last night, I can't trust a word he says. After the blind side on Shawnee, I probably should have seen this coming. But I've got my plan and if he wants to play that way, then I'll put myself first too. I think I've proved to myself and to everyone else here that I am a challenged threat. I'm focused and I know that it is essentially a life or death challenge for me. So no matter what it is, I'm gonna put my body on the line. Come on in! What is under there? Oh, goodness. This looks scary. Good morning. So, Liz, how does it feel to be the last woman standing? What can I say, Jonathan? I'm very proud. I'm very honoured to be the last female standing. I had a very rough start to the game. The fact that I've made it to day 45, I actually can't believe that I'm still here. George, on that point, how does it feel to be the last returning player standing? I'm going to be prouder, but sometimes the cream rises to the top, Jonathan, and that's what's happened again with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you ready to get to today's challenge? Yeah. yeah. Liz. Goodbye. <laughs> this will be a pleasant surprise. I, know, I hope there's something to nibble on under there. Today, immunity is not up for grabs. Whoa. What? Instead, you are playing for this. What? An extra vote at tonight's Tribal Council. Power to cast two out of five votes tonight could make or break your game. Wow. Worth playing for? Yeah. Yeah, wow. All right, for today's challenge, on my go, you're going to swim to shore, collecting balls along the way. Then you'll attempt to land in an overhead chute. You'll then crawl under a net and solve a puzzle. Finally, you'll climb a deck and attempt to land sandbags on a series of perches. First person to finish wins the extra vote. Huge stakes. Wow. Draw for spots. Let's get to it. How exciting! Wow, Love a good twist. Yeah, very interesting. Wow. First time for everything. Wow. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. All right, here we go for an extra vote at tonight's tribal. Survivors ready? Go! 
first thing you got to do is swim, pick up a bag of balls, get them to shore. Matt has his bag. Liz has hers. Jerry and George struggling to get there. Matt and Liz back first. Now you got to land both balls in that overhead chute. Matt, first toss gets one. Liz struggling, toss off to toss. George and Jerry in on it now. Yeah! George gets what? Matt and George neck and neck. Matt gets the next one. He's moving on. You got a long army crawl ahead of you now. Jerry gets one. Liz, yet to land one. That army crawl is no fun on that gravel. It's going to leave a rash for sure. Matt's through. Start working on your puzzle. 16 blocks. It's pretty simple. The difficult part is that it's a vertical puzzle, meaning that you got to start from the bottom, build up, unlike a regular puzzle where you can start wherever you want. Wind! Oh! Bloody hell! Jerry has two. Jerry's moving on. Jerry was last at the start of this challenge, but he's really made up for it. He's slowly coming through that net. Liz. Oh. Getting frustrated. Toss after toss, falling behind now. This is f Oh, my God! Finally, gets one. Come on, Liz, you need to pick it up if you want to stay in this. <sighs> Matt, he's speeding through this puzzle, coming together quickly for him. Jerry's through. Uh, to be young again. He starts working on his puzzle. Meanwhile, that extra vote is slipping away for Liz and George. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. We both got it. George and Liz at the same time land their second ball. They're moving on, putting the pressure on the puzzle makers. Matt getting close, but he's moving on. George, making quick work of that net. Yes, I did. Liz, really struggling. Inch by inch with that army crawl. It's painful to watch. Oh, I'm claustrophobic. Finally, Liz is through. Matt has a huge lead in this challenge. George and Jerry are slowly working on their puzzle. Matt starting to toss sandbags. Need to land a sandbag on each perch. Five perches in total. Matt lands one. Pulling away now. Matt lands another sandbag. Everyone else still trying to work out that puzzle. <laughs> Matt extending his lead. He's gotten the hang of it. And Matt lands his fourth. All he needs is one more, and he gets that extra vote. Everyone else needs to pick it up, or he's going to run away with it. Come on, let's go. Don't give up anyone. Matt going for that fifth. Use all his sandbags. He needs to reload. This opens the door for everyone else if they could pick up the pace on those puzzles. Oh, come on, puzzle box move. Matt coming back with an armful of sandbags. He's landed four. He's going for the win. Wins
the extra move. Nicely done. Good effort, guys. Good effort, Jerry. Good effort, Liz. Good job, guys. Liz. Yeah. Congratulations. Well done, Matty. Thank the extra you. vote is yours. Thank you very much. Well done. Good on you, Matty. However, that vote will not be used against anyone here because you'll all be voting tonight to remove someone from the jury. <laughs> That's right. Jury member with the highest number of votes tonight will leave the game immediately. Oh, <laughs> my God. That means they will not be voting at the final tribal. Wait, what? They will have no say in who becomes sole survivor. Oh, my God, I'm good. <laughs> at the end of this game, there will be seven jury members. Oh, my God. And that means a final three <laughs> pitching oh to the jury. Every jury vote counts now, so you better make sure it's not one of yours going home. Oh, wow. Holy <laughs> moly. I know, it's a lot to process. You'll have the afternoon to think about it. Grab your gear, head on out. Oh, I'll see you tonight. This is a great game. <laughs> OK, thanks. All right. <laughs> Holy <laughs> moly. Lead the way with your vote, Matty. Wow. God, I love this game. What a game. Oh, my god. That is phenomenal. <laughs> Interesting scramble for tonight. Yeah, yeah. have a big discussion around who do we kick off the jury. A top three pitching. What a what a with only seven jury members. It, it it makes it very interesting because if you've got guaranteed votes mm. with like friendly jurors, it it makes you much more likely to win. Yep, you can win this game with only three votes. Everybody's pretty blown away by the gravity of the situation. Come on, Jerry. The stakes have never been higher than tonight's tribal council. If I had the opportunity to remove a bitter jury member in the outback, I might have already had a crown coming here into Samoa. Do you want to put some salt water in that beans? Yes. Right. Yeah. And that is why tonight's vote is so important. I want to take the barnacle off my winning cruise ship. Everything is so heavy now. And if I can convince every single person to vote with what suits George best, George will be the sole survivor. We have to steer this conversation from the other Yes, I know we do, because so, we need it. Oh, my clear preference is getting rid of Simon. Same. He's a guaranteed Same. vote for Matt or Jerry. I know. Focus. Because, like, I look at it like this. 
I want us to know, okay? Oh, know. We, we are now there, okay? Let's just get through tonight and tomorrow's challenge. One more scoop, please. One more scoop, but yeah, let's just steer it. I'm steering it in the Simon, Simon. way. I know that Simon's not going to vote for me. I need to convince every single other player that it's in their best interest to remove Simon. But the difficulty is this. If they know that Simon won't be voting for me, that'll make them want to keep Simon. Um, obviously, Simon has rubbed every single person the wrong way in yep. this game. And then you, you know, throw out the question out there, does he deserve to be on the jury? Mm. Wouldn't it be a grand irony that Simon literally criticised every single person Oh, I here, know. How funny. And then our revenge on him is to vote him yeah, off the jury. Who's the pawn now, buddy? Yeah. So I'd, I'd love to see the look on his face. I think tonight George and I are very equal in this decision. We both know that we've really burnt our bridges with Simon, so it just makes sense for us to get rid of him. Simon is my personal preference. Number one, okay, yeah. He's my number one. Um, just the way he's played the game, the way he's treated everyone. Yeah. So he can... Go home. Go home. Mm. Yeah. At this point, I hope that George is telling the truth and I hope that I can rely on our relationship. Betty? Um... My thoughts? Yes, Simon definitely has annoyed all of us. Mm. Um, and there's no way of really knowing which way mm. his votes That's what I mean. Mm. Go. It's just going to be random. Um, yeah. Some thoughts. Jerry? Who else is there? Nina, like what she was saying at the end last night. Mm. Yeah. I'm I'm smarter than all of you. Mm. Like, like, give it up, can you? And her party thing last night, didn't she say to you, go okay, get him girl or something like that? She said, don't take him with you. I oh, don't take him. I feel like, yeah, you need to think of people that are going to vote for the game, not yeah, for, like, yeah, personal yeah, not, not, differences. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Simon is 100% got a knife in his back. Yeah, and and to me, so yeah. is, so is um, Nina. So, like, so, so fresh in our mind, eh? But I feel like Nina would vote with for the game. Oh, I don't know. And what do you think that is, that she's going to vote for this? Yeah, yeah. And that, and that wouldn't be, of course, that, that would just be a girl power for you. No, 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 no. Uh, Jerry. No, sorry. Oh, oh. Oh, I hope that wasn't an attack on my game so far. I think she likes you more than that she likes us three. So do you think we're tossing up between Nina and then the one person we all had up there, Simon? Up until this point, George has had the final say and the largest voice in our alliance. However, I've got the power tonight. I've got the extra vote. And this moment is pivotal to me having a chance at half a million dollars. This is deep enough. Yeah. Oh, could be our second last time in the ocean. Yeah. It's really hard to know where the jury's head's at. We've got five votes between all of us. Yeah. But there is someone that is going to be an absolute, a locked in vote. So I need to do something about it. Um, look, I'm not against the, the Nina idea look, and, the, and the Simon one too. The other one that I'm definitely thinking about is if Liz wins the challenge tomorrow mm. and she goes to the final three, someone that definitely could vote for her. Liz is Shawnee. Um, I, I, I can see where you're coming from, and then it also benefits me. Um, but my biggest priority would be to just take out Simon. But he doesn't deserve to be on the survivor jury, yeah. and it's that simple. Yeah. And he might just be the consensus target. But I know why George wants to get rid of Simon. He thinks Simon is the only person on that jury that won't vote for him. I, I'd like to just get rid of Simon. Yeah, it's a 
on yesterday. Easiest one. Yeah, gets him off the jury. I'd just love to see the look on his face. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Yeah, that's what he'll, that's what he'll get. Yeah. I hear George is so good at manipulating, and I can tell that George is playing me. I have a plan of who I want, and I need to make sure that happens. Not what's the best interest for everyone. It has to be the best interest for me. Does anyone else want to have a chat? Yeah. I've got two votes. However, there's still three other votes out there. I need to make sure that I can get just one more vote to have the majority and make sure that the odds are going to be stacked in my favour. This is really important today. Yep. I, I don't know whether we could quite all grasp how much George is actually playing us right now with who he wants gone. He only wants Simon gone because Simon would vote for either of us. He's not going to vote for George. Um, that his business is 100% on Simon. Yeah. And, I've got um, two votes. I don't want to do Simon. Yeah. I've always been pushing to try and get the final three with George and Jerry and take Jerry and myself to the final two. Now that it's a top three, I need to reassess and have plan B. Tomorrow, if I win the challenge, we probably have to send George home. I, I... Can I tell you where my head's at? Yeah. Um, so, if we take Liz tomorrow, right? Yeah. She's got one person that's 100% from her, and that person's Shani. Shani, yeah. So, I think it has to be Shani tonight. For me, you and my extra vote would send Shani home, and then we would guarantee at least one extra chance that we could get if me, you, and Liz end up. She's not, Shani's not gonna vote for you. No. Shani's not gonna vote for me. <laughs> Matt's starting to be a bit strategic here. Yeah. Guess who Matt's going to be putting two votes on? Shawnee. <gasps> Did he just tell you? Yeah. yeah. Shawnee has to stay. Yeah. Because she is I... a definite vote for us. I know she is. We're not losing Shawnee okay, from well, Do you want to go break that up? Yeah, I will. I'll just hang here. I'll go talk to him okay. now. Okay. We've just got to be smart. I mean, Shawnee. She'll vote for them too. She won't vote for us. Um, Come in, George. We're just discussing that we do think it should be Simon. Oh, good point. Yeah. I, I think um, you're not. You're happy. Mm -hmm. There's no one more bitter than Simon, mm -hmm. and there's just a line in the sand moment. Get off the jury, mate. Yeah, mm. yeah that's fair enough. Let's go. Let's go. It's all a bit of a hard one tonight. The plan we put in place, the three of us, George, Matt, and myself, going to the final three. But Matt, he's thinking and strategizing and flipping on George is a possibility. When we're talking about who we get rid of tonight, I think we need to be really calculated with who we actually target. Because I, I honestly, you're my ride and die. Yep. I know we've yep. said it since day one. Yep. Yep. But if we had to beat someone at that final three, which one of them do you think we're better at beating? Um, Liz. Yep. With the because I, I don't think that she's done as much as George. As much as George, but George has got the hate vote. Yep. Yep. Liz has got the love vote. Yeah. He does make a lot of sense. He needs one more vote to get his vote out. I see where he's coming from. Shawnee is voting for Liz. Just, just make sure he's not voting for Simon. Oh, Shawnee. You still locked and loaded tonight, Jerry? Yeah, there's a lot to think about, isn't there? Where's your head at? Hey? You're still voting Simon? I'm really not sure. Not sure. Do you think Simon will vote for you? I don't know what Lady Simon thinks. Yeah. I'm actually listening to both parties, both sides. I'm sitting in the middle swinging. 
Not quite sure which way to go at this stage. We don't have to all vote together, Jerry. No, 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 that's it. I'm definitely voting for Simon. Yeah, 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 I know that. I, I think both of you are. Yeah. Yeah. So, um... I think Matt's definitely on board with Simon. Yeah, done. I'm leaning towards Matt and voting for Shiny tonight. His vote's purely business, but it goes against my loyalty to George. And I actually made an unbreakable bond with George to stick together to the end. It's a very big decision, George. I think Simon definitely, uh, he doesn't deserve it. Yeah. I just keep it simple. I think he's the consensus. He's not helping yeah. anyone and he's not hurting if he goes. Yeah. Simon. Simon will do whatever Simon wants. Do you know what he won't do? Have a vote. <laughs> Is there any new players on? No. no. We're the final three new players, Jerry. Well, not yet. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Excuse me. Hello, I'm still here, guys. Hello. This is 100% the ultimate test to where Jerry's loyalty lies. He can go with George and try and send Simon home off the jury, or he can come with me and send Shawnee off from the jury. If I can pull this off tonight, it gives me the best chance at winning that $500,000 and the title of Soul Survivor. What happens after the tribe has spoken? Watch the drama continue on Ten Play when castaways reunite in the jury villa. Bring in the members of our jury. Flick, Sam, Shawnee, Sean, Haley, Simon, and Nina voted out the last tribal council. Jury, let me get you up to speed. As you may have already noticed, no one is wearing the necklace tonight. And that is because they did not compete for immunity. Instead, they competed for an extra vote. A huge advantage tonight because they will not be voting someone out from the tribe. Instead, they will be voting for one of you to leave the jury. What? Tonight. Jury member with the highest number of votes will leave the game immediately. We'll have no say in who becomes sole survivor. Big twist. George, this could be a half million dollar decision. It could most definitely be a half a million dollar decision. And I think of the 40 tribal councils I've attended, this is by far the most important one. Well, at the end of this game, there's gonna be three of you sitting there and only seven on the jury. With so few votes up for grabs, does that supercharge the importance of each vote? It most definitely does because the margin to victory narrows and you only need basically three or four votes to win the title of sole survivor. And I think everyone sitting here can, can see that now as a realistic goal. 
So, Matt, you won the extra vote today. What was going through your head this afternoon? So many things going through my head. I mean, I had plans of getting through the final three stage and then being a final two, and, and then having this extra vote, having to think about which one of these uh, wonderful people we're going to have to actually send home and not be a part of this game anymore. It's a real complex dilemma, and there's been a lot of thoughts and a lot of conversations had uh, amongst us all this afternoon. Well, because you have the extra vote, you have more power this evening. So were people coming to you with their ideas about who should be eliminated? Yeah, I have the extra vote, but I need three votes in a way to have a majority here, so I would need someone else to, to want to take out the same person, to do anything different than the whole group. So, Jerry, is there a common ground here of who you should eliminate from the jury, or does everyone have their own agenda? A couple of names came up regularly from different people sitting here. So there's a common denominator there. There's still a bit of a debate going on, but I think all are warranted tonight to be a target. So, George, there's not yet a consensus as to who it should be. There's been a lot of fierce debate back at camp, and we might still be making up our minds as we speak. Um, I'm under the impression that we have settled on a name, but we'll see once we vote. So, are you pretty sure there's someone over there that won't vote for you in the end? I mean, it's hard to know exactly how the jury members are going to vote, but I know that I won't get all of their votes. So it's just trying to pick that right person to send home. So, Matt, what kind of things are you considering? Um, the two main things considering is it uh, someone that you want to get rid of that you know is definitely going to vote for someone else sitting here? Or is it someone that you know has a bitterness towards you because maybe you put them there? And that's the better option to take. What were you thinking? I'm just still happy with it. I'm happy with the original plan. Yeah, me too. We're all good? I think so. I'm, I'm confused, but I'll, I'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, well, this is... <laughs> This is potentially a half million dollar decision, and I'm keen to see where this is going to land. All right, you ready to get to it? Remember, you are voting to send a jury member home. Ready to get to it? I'm keen to see how it's gonna fall. Remember, you are voting to send a jury member home. Liz, you're up. Simon, I'm not 
not sure if he can separate the game and our personal differences. for Liz, so I wanted you gone. Count the votes. All right, remember, these votes are for someone to lead the jury tonight. I'll read the votes. Johnny. Simon. It's one vote, Johnny. One vote, Simon. Johnny. That's two votes, Johnny. One vote, Simon. Person leaving the jury tonight. That's three votes, that's enough. Unfortunately, it's time for you to leave. Bye, everyone, good right, job. Just cruise on out. You can cruise on out. <laughs> Bye, Shawnee. Bye. 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 This game, nothing is more valuable than a vote. So you better hope the one you just sent home wasn't worth a half a million dollars. Grab your torches, head back to camp. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow night on Australian Survivor. I have been so underestimated in this game. And now I'm here to prove that I'm deserving of the title of Soul Survivor. Two heroes 
I believe I am a social and physical threat. I would love to see good always triumph over evil. Two villains. I came in here with the biggest target on my back. But look at me now. Heroes versus villains will be the coronation of the king. Nobody deserves that crown more than me. And I will get it. Get ready for the ultimate showdown. I'm the last female standing. I know that Matt, Jerry and George have an unbreakable bond. My position in the game is reliant on winning that necklace. This challenge today is do or die for me. Who will be crowned this season's Soul Survivor? Thank you.